there was a patch note. True, because I heard somebody talk about uh, somebody talk about red side, blue side, or some bullshit. I can find this. All right, what we got? <sighs> Bring back Hannah. Not even gonna bother reading. Oh wait. Oh, they're talking to me. So break greatest with patch 14, 16 in the triumphant T1. They already know I've won the challenge. Let's go. Riot is on my side. Let's go, baby. They're talking directly to me. <laughs> no problem. Nerf. Wait, is itty bitty. Nerfs just quirky. Okay, maybe we won't have to see Corky only in pro play. Put me to sleep. Put me to sleep. I'm going to decline this. Buffs, whatever. Systems, whatever. Just whatever. Oh, shit. Rank split about to end? Wait, when is, let me check the client. It ends in 41 days. Honest to God, I guess this means I just got a camp challenger. Like, like I mean, what? All these other losers do it. And nobody, these guys play... 14 games in 14 days. One game a day. Nobody says anything. Nobody says anything. Right? They just camp it. It's the cringiest shit ever. So, fuck it. I'm just going to camp it. I'm just going to camp it and didn't challenge her so I can be a, a big dog. Matchmaking improvements. Uh, oh? 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 Recently, we've seen a lot of player feedback around issues surrounding the balance of blue side, red side, and off-roll balance. Okay. This patch for making changes to better match off-rolls. Including matching secondaries af as if they're off-rolls. Oh my god, League is saved. You idiots. Finally listen. It took you literally years but hey better late than never right right guys finally we're doing it now i've talked about this before is it riot's fault that league of legends players suck is it no it's not ideally in in riot's perfect world everybody is like me and can play every single role so then a game isn't instantly lost is it instantly lost if somebody gets secondary role they can still put up a good fight right but unfortunately everybody sucks except for me so right should have done this way sooner they gotta just bite the bullet it is what it is our player base is dogs it is what match the secondary whatever so they say they're gonna count secondaries as if they were off roll good needed unfortunately but needed We've also made some improvements to make team versus team balance feel more fair and not repeatedly place the same players on the same teams, especially at the top of the ladder. Oh my god. Will matchmaking finally be balanced? I actually I, like I think it's been over a year of me bitching about it. Bro, I you know what? They say this, right? Words are just words, you know? Words are words. This this is what they say. They say they're... I gotta queue up a few games and see. Let's see. Increased off-roll parity. Both teams should now have more similar amount of players auto-filled or placed into secondary roles. Should. Both teams shoo. This is a big word. Both teams should now have. It doesn't say both teams will now have. A, it says should. That's a big word to catch. Seriously. When companies write this shit, this actually means something. It's like when your internet company is like, you could get speeds up to five gigs that, you know what I mean? That up, that word means a lot. So, what I watch should. So, uh-oh, it's a red flag. Reduced how large LP gaps could be between, could be between players in a game. I think this word's fine. So they're saying that the LP gaps could could have been 1k LP to 100 LP. Decrease the red versus blue side imbalance. Especially in high... I'm gonna have to see it to believe it. I, like, okay, this is... Whew, this is too good to be true. I gotta see this shit. I've gotta see this shit. Bro, I gotta see this. Ain't no way. 30 is finished. Hey, rank one is... 
Let me play against that bimbo bastard on when I'm red side. We'll see, bro. We'll see. Ah, it's too good to be true. It's to, we'll see. Boosting and regulation penalties. Oh my god. Are we actually doing things? And this patch will be increasing the penalties for first-time offenders participating in malicious forms of rank manipulation, such as account boosting, win trading, and deranking. Okay. I'll read these first. Previous era warning ban for first-time offenders was short enough so players had high ranks to return before rank decay kicked in. Now the penalty will last a full 30 days, ensuring that these counts will decay. The penalty for a second offense is still permanent ban. We take behavior very seriously, so everyone only gets a warning. Okay, this, this, like, whatever, this whole thing. So they'll be increasing the penalties for first time offenders participating in blah, 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 for reasons, such as account boosting, win trading, or whatever. Bro, okay, but these guys have to get punished at least once. Like, okay, they still have to catch them. This is more like empty words, like trying to like scare people from doing it. This is like, okay, guys, the warning is gone. You're now gone for 30 days. You will decay and lose to boosting if we catch you. They don't catch anybody. That's that's the issue. They don't catch them to take care of them. And I, this isn't saying we're going to start tackling this harder. It's just saying if they do catch them, the first offense is harder. That's all they're saying here, which is a pretty big deal. If you guys remember, 2022, early 2023, the whole bet arc, right? You guys know all those guys we got banned for boosting or win trading? They only got two-week bans. You know how much proof I had? All that proof I had. Everything I had. All the evidence. You guys don't know the messages I sent to Riot. Lengths and lengths and lengths of just notepad docs of me explaining exactly why this is griefing, how this is griefing, how this is win trading, what they're going against, what they do in queues, over and over. And they just got two-week banned. And they didn't get two-week banned for win trading. They got two-week banned for account sharing. And it wasn't even a full two-week ban because the original owner of the account could submit an appeal and get the account back. And then I would have to report them again. And then it was a two-week ban. Not even a perma after all that. A two-week ban. You understand? You understand how crazy that is? And that was the most obvious shit ever, wasn't it? The most obvious shit you've ever seen. So, with that being said... This rank manipulation, like boosting, win trading, and deranking, technically, all these CN accounts that are account sharing, that is boosting. That is boost. Account sharing is boosting. If they are winning more than the, it is boot, they are not. That is ranked manipulation. So all these account shares should be banned, right? But they'll never get banned. But if they were to spike. The grace of God get banned. It's now a two week to a 30 day. We'll see, bro. We'll see. I mean, at least they said I, look, they said something about this. I don't think this is a major change because they still change. They still have to catch them. This, we'll see. Career stats, I don't give a shit. Azir, I don't care. Corky, Q mana cost and cooldown increased. Oh, I don't care. I don't ever want to see him in pro play. Here. Here. I don't care about any of this shit. I'm not going to lie. This shit is like cake compared to this. I don't give a f about this. Bro, I can't remember the last time I actually cried about champion balance, except for Garen. Bro, I spend half my time complaining about red side versus blue side nowadays. What am I going to do if it's fixed? I don't know. Is my channel dead? <laughs> Here, Cleaver. I want to prevent champions from applying two stacks from basically... Okay, cool. I don't know. Blade of the Rune King. I mean, a lot of people were building this. Five less AD, five percent less attack speed. 1% more on hit, okay. D-Blade, okay. In an effort to chip away at any carry lane dominance in early game, we're tapping down some early strength of Dorn's Blade. So any carry spent a large amount of time attacking minions. True. True. The bot lane rather than more consistently lane against true versus the body rating. We want to make any carries weaker to early aggression lane. Okay, so like range top lane autos the wave and heals. So they're reducing that, plus it's less tankier. Okay, we'll see. And when I'm top lane, I only go D shields. So I don't give a shit. Death timers and death guards. And whatever we lower, death timers is one of several different through snowballing. The change to fortune pretty case where a player got killed in lane, but gained an advantage due to teleporting back quickly enough to freeze lane. This happened to us yesterday, by the way, against the Irelia. She solo killed me. I TP'd back. Her wave was f***ed. I killed her. She can't play. Teleport being such a powerful... Dude, I think they hate TP. 
Brother, I, I think they've nerfed TP like 20 times in a row. Not yesterday. You know what I meant. I can lower the frequency of the above case and indirectly nerf teleports. So we're adjusting both dead timers. And re There's something in my throat. <laughs> Everybody, both teleports are adjusting both dead timers and respawn home guards. It'll take longer for the teleporting player to return to land. Respawning with a player without it receives mitigation from the death guard buffs since 30 Okay, so it makes the game slower. Number one. Okay, so it's increased a little bit. Movement speed. Wait. So movement speed is more? Wait. Let me explain this to me. So it's decaying movement speed over five seconds. Now it decays over eight seconds. This is a buff. Range of the fountain from a death guard start cooling down has been made more generous. Okay, move faster. Arena don't give a shite. Okay, I don't care. That's nice. I don't give a shit. Bro, I am... Dude, this is... Like, whatever. This, I like I said, I doubt it gets punished. The problem is... It's just not getting punished. Bro, let's cue the f*** up and see this. Let's cue the f*** up and see this. Brother, I'm gonna... Riot, I'm gonna be eyeing this like a hawk, by the way. I'm not lying. I think this should word is gonna carry a lot of weight here. I am gonna be analyzing champ selects and player versus player and secondary role like a hawk. If you guys f*** this up... Oof, you could've just stayed silent, stayed ignorant. Pretended to be ignorant and not said anything. You went... You didn't have to do this. You went out of your way, you you verbalized it, right? You put it on paper. I gotta see some improvement. I'm not kidding, bro. I'm not kidding. Who the f up? Those shoulds and coulds gonna hit like a truck? I pray to God not. Well, no, I don't. I think I think you can like. I gotta pull it back up actually. Let me read that again. This actually I, this actually means something finally to me. Let me read this again. So they decreased. The red side versus blue side imbalance. But but how? Also made some improvements to make team versus team balance feel more fair. Like like how though? Not repeatedly place the same players on the same teams. The bullets I already did. Like this this is good for both teams. Match secondary. Wait, so this pretty much confirms everything I was bitching about was right, by the way. You guys understand that, right? Like I'm not delusional this means that when you were blue side you did in fact have more autofill than red side plus red side had five had had the higher mmr this literally means everything i bitched about i was i was completely right it, it was bugged it had to be bugged you want a blue side at higher mmr you 100 percent had more offer 100 percent i don't know like not every game but like 90 percent of the game I knew it. I could, bro, I played too much to not know it. It was bugged. Red side was too strong. And I mean, I still lost a lot of red side games, I'm just saying. Was it me? Did it listen to me? I, am I changing the game for the better? You mean blue side had more second roll players picked than red? More second roll players and more uh, true autofill. 100%. Or what's up? Yeah, and a collective lower LP. It was actually so f***ed up. Dude. <laughs> Lamar, no top counterpick, more off Well, blue side mids got counterpick, and that actually matters. But it mattered less because 80 carries were, were meta. So both blue side and red side would go 80 mid high elo anyway, right? So it, it would like even out the blue side mid counterpick and make the red side counterpick more. Plus mid side's not like, or mid's not like bot, or mid is not like top. Top lane counterpick hurts worse. All I'm going to say is I'm the face of League of Legends. Gotta be. I I I'm not I'm not I get co-streaming rights, bro. Somehow within a week I gain 500 LP. Then the very next patch they patch Matt red side versus blue side and are gonna start handling account traders, boosters, etc. Like, oh my god, I is this, is that is this the road to rank one officially happening? I've finally been whitelisted by Riot. <laughs> Corporate must got a call. I told you my lawyers would be in contact. There was some racial profiling going on in my games beforehand. I said what I said. Big T's lawyers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've seen that, Peter. That's crazy. Ugh. It doesn't bother. Dude, low elo players don't matter. Like, don't even read the changes. It's just higher MMR. You don't matter. Sorry. You're so terrible and bad at the game, your opinion holds zero weight. And your game quality, nobody gives a shit about.